Hi there, this is Asherathi once again, and I am showing you some previews from Singularity and uh, trying to show off not only what is really good about Singularity right now, but also kind of maybe show off a couple of the bugs that I've seen so that way we can get them fixed. What you're seeing right now is I am in an asteroid belt being fired at by a rat, and you can actually see, if you look carefully, this little the, this effect of a yellow shield effects of when the laser hits me. So we're going to explore that a little bit more. And I'm also using the tactical camera so I can actually zoom out and I can pan around. I can select that thing. Oh wait, no, I accidentally, there we go. Um, and that's actually one of the issues that I have right now is that um, the bounding box selector is kind of broken, but we're going to get to that in a little bit too. So I can look at the Sanchez servant and you know, have some fun with that, and then I can hit this to bring it back to me. Um, there are three camera modes now. There's the orbit camera, which allows you to kind of pan around just like before, and it actually zooms out all the way, uh, whereas before, uh, when they first revealed this, if you panned out far enough, it actually just goes straight into tactical mode. They fixed that, so now it actually, you know, it, it works the way you would expect, which is kind of nice. Um, you can target things with bounding boxes like that, so I can launch my my drones, so on and so forth. But uh, this is not what I'm here to show you right now, so let me pull my drones back in and we will go dock up. And this brings us to our biggest, the biggest bug that I found so far, which is that the camera just simply stops working in orbit mode. So, um, you know, right now I'm in orbit mode. Um, I am actually clicking and dragging, I am right clicking, I am scrolling in and out. It doesn't matter what I do, once I've hit warp, it actually just completely stops functioning. Um, I actually have to leave orbit mode altogether in order to get any control back, and then when I go back in orbit mode, it is still in fact broken. It requires an entire session change or, you know, uh, jump, jumping through or, you know, something like that in order to make uh, any solution. First person is still cool, um, still cannot be moved, but that's because you're first person. I kind of like it. Um, I especially like it for warping. So I'm about to go accept a mission because I need um, sufficient things firing at me to really show off the new shield and armor effects. Um, I've, I've seen the new shield effects, but I have not seen the new armor effects. Um, I tried it out in, in Nullsec, where I'm at, but because, you know, Sissy doesn't have the same uh, defense levels and all that stuff, I didn't have rats to shoot at. So I came here, so that way I could accept this level 4 mission. So, I accept the mission, I undock, and we run into our first problem that I have, which is that when I undock, the camera actually, oh, this isn't so bad. In other positions, the camera has actually been like out here or something like that, which is really awkward. Um, in normal uh, tranquility, it usually is like this so that you can see yourself leaving the station, uh, which I think is preferred. Um, it'd be nice if they could fix where the camera comes. And then once again, I go into warp and instantly, oh, look, my camera just stopped working. So that's a thing. Uh, one thing that's nice is that the tactical map now does, in fact, follow you into warp. Um, so I can actually, you know, go like this and kind of put my camera wherever I want it to be. And then when I enter into warp, um, it follows with me. Uh, in the When it was first released, uh, the camera would literally just be left behind and, like, glitch out really, really bad. So this is um, significantly better, obviously. Um, so
All right, so I jumping, and you can see the new jump effect there. And now you can see I actually have control over my camera, but it doesn't matter how much I scroll. Oh, never mind. It actually worked this time. If you jump um, while in orbit camera, it actually, like, oftentimes will just not show your ship at all. Um, and there's no way to fix that from what I've been able to see. So uh, I'm going to warp to the mission. And look, the camera immediately stopped spinning and functioning. Just to show it is, in fact, consistent. Every single time I warp, my camera stops working. Again, tactical map or tactical still works, first person still works. And I'm going to put on my hardeners. Now, if you look, the, uh, the new hardener effects are a lot more subtle. You can kind of see the yellow glean all over it. The shield hardener effects are um, significantly less subtle. Um, but you'll see what the fields look like a lot more once I get to the mission. I'll throw on my repper. Let's get these out of the way. Looks like they fixed the grid issue a little bit. I can't see inside of the uh, the site from the acceleration gate, which is nice. Go a little bit away from the acceleration gate and activate. You can also ooh, hold on. You can see the new engine effects, which are really sexy. They did fantastic work on all of the visuals that are coming out in, in December. I like, I like all of them. <clears throat> oh, I can already see the rats, so that's pretty cool. There's plenty of them. Maybe I'll go down in a blaze of glory. And I'm landing. Does my camera work again? Um, oh yeah, my camera does work again. Awesome. Target some things. Start getting shot at. Let's pretend like I'm doing this right. Switch to multi-freak because they're close. Let's start shooting at some stuff. More importantly, let's have them shoot at me. There we go. So as you can see, I'm starting to take some fire, and you can see the shield effects, which is amazing. So the shield effects appear to be stronger based on the uh, amount of damage because that small frigate created very little effects. This is creating significantly bigger effects. You can see the damage to my shields. Now, I'm really interested what happens once, I, once they get me into armor. Oh, I think you can see... Oh, yeah, you saw my shields actually fail, and now armor damage is being done. My repper is attempting to fix the damage, and you can see bits and pieces are being broken off as the nanites are attempting to repair. That is really cool. You can see heat damage... And my, my reps are holding. I wonder I wonder what happens if I turn off my repper. 
don't don't try this at home, kids. So if I start just start taking repper, oh, it still has the repper effect, which is kind of interesting. Oh no, never mind. The repper effect is now stopped now that the module is off, and I've just got black scorch marks where they've hit me. Although it looks like the black scorch marks do go away over time, so. Yep, you can see the black scorch marks kind of melt away. And now that my repper's back on, you're seeing the repper, the nanites working against uh, the laser damage. So to go back to our tactical map, let's just see how functional this is. So I can see the whole battlefield. I can see myself. I can see other guys. If I want to, I can control and zoom in to a specific person. It's not perfect. From the looks of things, it's probably could use a little bit more work making sure that the camera actually locks on to. Um, oh, here we go. Yeah, they fly past. I mean, that's cool. The biggest problem that I have right now is like, let's say I want to target this group of four guys. So I'm going to bounding box them, and it only targets one of them. I'd really like it to lock all four of them that's what my expectation would be with a bounding box but the biggest problem is is if i do it over and over again i continue to just lock the one i would have to i have to exclude it oh i'm at my limit um let's unlock some so if i unlock some let's say i take this group of of uh whoops uh if I take this group and I just keep locking it, I have to actually like lock bounding box different groups. If I if I include them, it doesn't actually do work correctly. So that's one of the, my biggest complaints right now. Um, but yeah, so that is the new camera, the new visual effects, um, both the pros and cons at the moment. I would like to remind people that uh, this is Singularity, and they still have quite a few uh, days left before the um before the patch hits in december so this is obviously i mean they have time to fix a lot of this stuff so uh don't think that this is the final form but you got to realize that this is really pretty so um i think that they've done a really good job uh just those couple of things the the bounding box targeting um maybe some better camera locking if I want to lock my camera to a specific object with the tactical map and have the, the camera move with it, um, making it so the orbital camera does not break while I'm while I'm warping, um, you know, just just a few little things here and there, and and this will be a pretty incredible feature. So thank you CCP, thank you CCP Art Team for doing all this, and um, let me know what you guys think in the comments and if there's anything else that you want me to showcase. Um, we don't have the micro jump drive destroyers yet. I will ask to see if I can get my hands on one so that way I can show you guys. Um, but uh, that's what we got at the moment. Thanks and see you in space.